This is Dr. John Brimhall, and with me tonight is uh, Dr. Jonathan Walker, and we're going to talk about the peripheral neuropathy niche. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, we've been talking here a few minutes beforehand, and since the last one we did, Dr. Jonathan and I have kept in contact with how you guys are doing out there. Some of you have signed up already or given us reports in and asking other questions, and you'll find it quite amazing that Dr. Walker makes himself available uh, to you if necessary. And it's like all the rest of us, we're being busy, we don't want to sit down and visit, and although we'd like to, we just don't have time to. But if you need to ask him a question, I found him readily available. Uh, we're waiting for a few other people to click on here, but we're not going to wait. We're going to shuck and jive here. And let me tell you what my experience has been since I was introduced to Dr. Walker. We introduced one of my Brimhall docs from Jersey here last, last time we did it because he heard uh, Dr. Jonathan speak. He bought the online course, then he locked himself in the closet, studied it for four days, and uh, he launched it in July, and here it is, only October. Well, in July, he did $87,000 of new business. Now, this isn't, this isn't a, along with what else he did. This is in beside it. It's something on top of it. So those of you who might be struggling out there and wondering if you should do this, just have to ask yourself, well, do you want to make more money or not? Do you want to help people if nobody else is helping? That's a real fun thing. And the idea of niche marketing is being able to do things better or maybe the only one of the few that can do something that nobody else is getting help from. And this is why people answer the ads. That's what I'm seeing and talking to those of you that have done this because there is no help for these people out there in the general world. And yet when they follow the step-by-step -step protocol, the Dr. Walker has outlined getting incredible results out there. Uh, there's, there's a great teacher who wrote The Secrets of the Millionaire, Millionaire Mind, T. Harv Eker, and actually learned about that book in Sunday school, if you can believe it, in church one day. So I got the book and read it, and uh, it helped me to make a million dollars that year. Because what he says, people that are millionaires think like millionaires. People that are billionaires think like billionaires. People that are broke think like people that are broke. And one thing T. Harv says is that you have to go ready, fire, aim. If he says people that go ready, aim, fire, they always aim, they never fire. They go ready, aim, 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 and then by the time they get through aiming, they start to talk themselves out about firing. And my wife gives me a hard time sometimes because I'm a ready, firing guy. But first you get ready. And the nice way of getting ready is to follow what's already worked. Dr. Walker has agonized over this. He's perfected it. He's a systems approach guy. And so uh, those of us that have put this into practice, and Dr. Brett's going to going to start it here right away in his practice, uh, it, it's incredible. Now, to tell you this uh, crazy guy from Jersey, uh, not he did $87 the first month. He did over $120,000 the second month. You think that's impossible? In two months, he made two hundred thousand dollars from a brand new technique. The answer is yes, but he's a brim hall doc. He knows adjuster, he knows percussor, he knows laser, he knows craniosacral, he knows visual manipulation. I mean, he knows how to help somebody, but he never would have thought to try to help somebody with peripheral neuropathy without reading what Dr. Walker has. He's a ready, fire aim guy, and you can be too if you're just standing out there wondering if you should do it. The answer is yes, from what I've seen. But you've got to be the ready, fire aim. You've got to jump in. You've got to do it. And um, so we'll, Dr. Walker covered a lot more, but I just thought I'd tell you my experience up to this point because one of the people that bought one the very night, we did it last time, called me the next day and said, I, I wonder if I have buyer's remorse. I said, no, call Dr. Jesse, talk to him, find out how he did it, and you'll find out he did it exactly like Dr. Walker outlined. So Dr. Walker, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much. I, I don't think that I could probably ask for a better introduction. And uh, I think the words ready, fire, aim um, are probably going to be uh, emblazoned on my tombstone because <laughs> that's a motto that uh, I live by in business and it's the reason I have a phenomenal office manager, a phenomenal staff, and a phenomenal spouse. Uh, my wife, of course, they're always there to sometimes clean up the mess when ready, fire, aim doesn't work. But the good news is what I tell my staff and what I tell all of my doctors in my training programs is that about 90% of the time, the ready, fire, aim mode puts you light years ahead. And the 10% that you screw up, well, the 90% more than makes up for it. 
and it's easy enough to have the right people around you to assist and clean things up. So again, thank you for your kind introduction, Dr. Brimhall, and uh, it was exciting to speak with you today and hear of uh, the doctor in New Jersey, because as you'll see in this PowerPoint, I make a reference to the $87,000 month he had, and to hear he followed it up with a $120,000 month um, on top of his existing collections was, uh, was inspiring and, and pretty exciting to me. So it's always fun Dr. to hear Walker, stories like that. Dr. Yes. Walker, just one, one thing I want to throw into here, because the psychology plays such an important part of anything that we do in our lives. So this doctor did 87000 the first month and over 120000 the second month. The third month he did 60000 and he And he called me and he said, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. I said, you talked yourself out of it. Now think about it. You're putting people on programs. These aren't programs you do in a week. I think they, they probably average three months because it's a real intensive thing you do. That's why they pay you as much as they do because it takes three months to do it. And I was kidding him about he overwhelmed himself getting such incredible results and getting so many people to sign up. I think he got a little panic. How am I going to handle another huge month like that? That's, that's what I told him. Only time will tell. But he's got a, a fly in again now because his mind got on. He's, he is actually expanding his office. I think he's going to have no, enough money to pay cash for it. But the interesting thing I'm going to point here, and, and you'll talk about it, I'm sure, as you go along, but he got the Beamer. In fact, he got a Beamer, and then before the week was over, he got a second Beamer. And he has found out in the tough, tough, tough cases, if he uses the Beamer, he gets results. He does not without even with all the other good stuff that you talk about. And um, so he has tells his patients now, you come in and get the Beamer every day. He includes that in this package deal. And I know you'll probably discuss prices and how you how you do that. That's another thing that if you have any questions, then just call my office. Call Jason at 866-338. 4883 and let him talk you through that. Okay, I'm going on silence. <laughs> so for a lot of you out there, and I think in this group, probably less than most, but for a lot of doctors across the country, chiropractors and uh, medical providers, our current healthcare climate is not one that they're real excited about the future. And a lot of doctors, Obamacare uh, has got them losing sleep. You know, I, I get to talk with a lot of practices across the country and there's a lot of doctors for years that have been reliant on insurance reimbursement and reliant on major medical and Medicare and things like that. And, uh, they are as nervous as can be. You know, my father-in-law is a 61-year-old uh, family practice doctor, and you know, he is not happy with the future of medicine, even though he'll be retiring likely within you know the next uh, anywhere from three to ten years. So there's a lot of you that Obamacare might have you up at night, but what I'm going to share with you today is why I sleep like a baby. And that doesn't mean waking up every hour and, and crying and pooping on myself. Uh, this is why I don't have the stress of major medical, the stress of uh, worrying about what's going to happen with Blue Cross and Cigna and Aetna and so on and so forth. Now, this doesn't mean that practice is without challenges and uh, without obstacles because you know no matter what you do there's always uh, there's going to be ups and downs but as a whole this is why I really enjoy what I do and what I advocate and what I uh, practice in my own office uh, I'm in Ocala Florida about an hour north of Orlando and uh, my practice is what I call the balanced practice approach and I focus on a couple of very specific things most primarily uh, peripheral neuropathy, which is going to be the subject of today's webinar, and then secondly, personal injury. And as a result, I have two consulting programs that I've developed. One is called Neuropathy Elite, which we'll go into a little bit of detail today, and the other is called PI Marketing Elite, and it's geared around building the personal injury side of your practice. And so for some of you, a balanced practice approach might be balancing an insurance-based niche like PI with a cash-based niche like neuropathy. For some of you, it might be balancing neuropathy and knee pain and diabetes and weight loss and uh, thyroid and fibromyalgia and all the other niches that are out there and if you're a Brimhall doctor the beautiful thing is that you have got a plethora of tools at your disposal to help these people and help these complicated cases and some of you might be thinking well the thyroid and the diabetes and the weight loss and the fibroid these are all the same problems just different manifestations and that may be true from a clinical standpoint but from a marketing standpoint you need to be niched in your marketing if you're going to market for thyroid, you need to market for thyroid, not thyroid and diabetes and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. You need to pick something and laser focus it in your marketing. 
this is why I believe that peripheral neuropathy is probably the best niche for you to focus on because you will not only attract neuropathy patients, you'll also attract diabetic patients and thyroid patients and uh, decompression patients and uh, fibromyalgia patients because the marketing is going to draw in people that have these comorbid conditions. Matter of fact, we've got a doctor in Columbus, Ohio who doesn't even particularly like treating neuropathy, but he really likes and is really good at thyroid and diabetes. And so he does neuropathy marketing because he finds he brings in more thyroid and diabetic patients with his neuropathy marketing than what he does with thyroid and diabetic marketing. So as I said, the balanced practice approach uh, may have different connotations for different people, but I guess at the end of the day, the, uh, the real wisdom is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Even if it's diversifying into different niches, make sure that you diversify. Now I've talked a lot about neuropathy and um, in my office and, and what we do. Um, typical month for us, we'll see anywhere from about 120 to 150 new patients in my office. And of those, usually about 30 to 50 are neuropathy patients. So we see a lot, which means we get a lot of snaps under center and we get a lot of chance to um, make mistakes. And uh, I've made some screw-ups that I get to, uh, to pass along to you so you can avoid them. Uh, we've had a lot of victories and, and we've developed some good systems along the way. But I absolutely love treating neuropathy. And I find this to be one of the most rewarding niches out there. And I'll share with you a couple of reasons why. First is that there's virtually no competition. You know, let's look at a niche like low back pain. Uh, when you're talking about the competition for the low back pain market, who else is out there? Well, for starters, there's other chiropractors. There's pain management doctors. There's surgeons. There's neurologists. There's acupuncturists. There's physiatrists. There's personal trainers, massage therapists, physical therapists. Uh, you know, the, the different gadgets and gizmos you see on television. There's all kinds of creams. There's Tylenol. There's Advil. There's Bengay. There's the little zap, zap uh, patches that Shaquille O'Neal puts on. There's a lot of competition in the back pain space. And the crazy thing is that some of you listening to this call are doing phenomenally well in that space. So that's not to discourage you, but that's just to give you the reality of the market. Let's look at peripheral neuropathy. Who are you competing against in most markets in this country for neuropathy? You're competing against Lyrica, Gabapentin, Neurontin, and Cymbalta. That's it. That's, that's your competition. And the very doctors who put those people on those drugs, they'll tell them, you know, Mrs. Jones, this isn't a miracle. This isn't uh, going to reverse the condition. This doesn't really fix things. It just might take the edge off a little bit. So it's not like you're competing against drugs that are presented as this miracle wonder cure. You're competing against drugs that the doctors putting them on it are telling them, eh, maybe it'll help you a little bit. And that's true because in most cases it doesn't offer dramatic relief. There is integrity in your diagnosis and in your results. And what I mean by this is with the systems that you'll learn in the Neuropathy Elite program, and we'll talk about some of these things today on our call, you're going to have a very specific systemized approach to determining who's a candidate for your care and who's not. Because that's always something for me that has been tough is determining who can I help and, and who uh, is likely better served somewhere else. And from a result standpoint, if we have a consistent predictable system, we can convey this to patients. I explain to patients that with the clinical methods that we use and that uh, I'll be talking about tonight, we find about 80 to 85 percent of patients are going to find significant progress and going to find success. And we define success to them as significant reduction in pain, significant improvement in their sensation, and a significant improvement in their balance and mobility. And so we find about 80 to 85 percent of those people find success. One of the reasons I am always uh, buying new devices, I uh, just in the last uh, month have purchased a Beamer that we've begun integrating in my office. I'm always attending new seminars. I was just a couple weeks ago at a functional neurology conference and I'll be at another one uh, coming up this weekend because I always want to move the needle just like all of you to push 80 to 85 from 85 to 87 to 90 to 95. And we're always looking to do that. But the bottom line is that you can sit with a patient and give them an expectation based on not just your office and what you've done, but hundreds of doctors with thousands of patients across the country utilizing similar protocols. And so when you start using language with a patient like, Mrs. Jones, we need to determine if you're a candidate for this program, if we can accept your case. That's not marketing and that's not sales hype. It's the truth. 
and you're more like a surgeon trying to decide who's a candidate and who's not, as opposed to, well, I'm a chiropractor and your back hurts, and you can pay your copay, so come on in, and, and I'm sure we'll take you on. It changes your headspace, and uh, it, it changes the way that you focus when, you know, it, sometimes it feels good to sit down with a patient. I, I did this uh, yesterday, first patient in the morning, and, you know, he hadn't filled out half his paperwork, which is never a good sign. He had indicated nothing that was affected in his life from this problem. His pain was, I think, a 1 or 2 out of 10 in his feet. And the first thing he says was that his wife made him come in for the appointment. And i got to be honest with you, it felt good to tell that guy, Mr. Jones, my office specializes in serious chronic conditions. And you're a diabetic, and that's a serious condition. And uh, you've clearly got diabetic neuropathy in your feet, which is a very serious condition. But it doesn't appear that you're taking it very seriously. And so, unfortunately, if all you came here today is to kind of make your wife happy and tell her that you did something, and he got this little sort of half smile on his face, I said, you can check that box off, and, and you can tell her that you did. And, and I'll tell you what, it's not going to cost you anything today because this is just going to be a free consultation. Because after talking with you, and this was after I chatted with him for a little bit, I, I just don't think that you're at a place where this is bothering you enough that you're ready to make any changes. And he's, he's nodding his head as I'm saying this. And I told him, I said, so, you know, if it gets more severe and if it gets bad enough, then we're here for you. I said, hopefully you don't have to start, uh, you know, losing any toes and, and any amputations from diabetes before that happens, but I want you to know that we're here for you regardless. And it feels good to do that. It feels good sometimes because, you know, some of you have spent, you know, hours of your life just battling and fighting with patients that you knew good and well weren't going to follow your recommendations weren't going to be good candidates for what you did. Most importantly, weren't going to get out their checkbook and pay you, but you strung them along because that's just what you were taught to do. And so when you have a process that allows you to say, you know what, Mr. Jones, I just don't think you're a good candidate for our protocol here, that feels good. And it also feels good that you can sit across a desk and tell someone that you can help them and know in your heart that chances are you're going to be right. This is a niche that didn't go in anywhere. And, and I wish I could say that, you know, that we were close to reversing neuropathy forever for everybody, but as long as there is the epidemic of diabetes. I was just reading an article today about uh, the proton pump inhibitor antacids and how those aggravate or in many cases cause neuropathy. Um, as long as we've got the uh, epidemic of uh, inflammation and pro-inflammatory diets, neuropathy is not going anywhere. And uh, if you have followed the mega trends in healthcare, Right now, the biggest mega trend in healthcare is anything that is piggybacked on the treatment or treating the uh, complications of type 2 diabetes. So this is not a niche that you know you're going to you're going to run out of patients with. Uh, sadly, because that'd be great if that happened, but it, it's just not going to. I talked with uh, one of my top doctors in Louisville, Kentucky, at a seminar a couple weeks ago. And I asked him about, because, you know, we're always coming up with new neuropathy ads and testing and trying new things. And I asked him if he'd run any of the new ads. He said, no, no, I just, that, that same ad that I first ran that got me 70 new patients, he said, every time I run it, I'll get between 10 and 30, 10 and 30 uh, new patients from it. And he goes, I mean, I just keep running that same ad. He goes, I hadn't, hadn't tested any of your new ones yet. So the niche isn't going anywhere. Now let's talk a little bit about the science of neuropathy and then we'll talk about the treatment side of things in terms of what we do from a treatment standpoint and then lastly uh, we'll talk about some of the marketing and communication side of things and don't worry because we will leave plenty of time at the end for questions that you're going to have uh, whether it be about my neuropathy elite program uh, questions for Dr. Brimhall about nutrition or the Beamer or some of the other things that he's involved with uh, or just general questions about today's presentation so we will have plenty of time at the end for Q&A, so don't worry about that. Now, causes of neuropathy. What I'm going to give you today is the Cliff's Notes of the Cliff's Notes version. So the, the real simple version of this is most types of neuropathy, particularly diabetic neuropathies, are caused by decreased peripheral circulation. The way I explain it to a patient is every little tiny nerve you have is fed by even smaller little tiny blood vessels. It's kind of like the roots of, the, of a tree. And if those blood vessels are not feeding and nourishing those nerves properly, those nerves start to die off, kind of like a tree that's not getting watered. The leaves start to turn brown and start to wilt and start to dry. It's the exact same thing with those nerves. And so what we have to determine today, Mr. Jones, is how much nerve damage do you have? 
And we're going to do that with what we call our neuropathy severity exam. This is how I explain it to a patient. Now, in more clinical terms, what we know is that we're dealing with microangiopathy leading to endoneural hypoxia. So this is basically changes in those uh, little blood supply. You see up here, it talks about the vasonervorum. That's those small blood vessels that are feeding the nerves. And so diabetes wreaks havoc on the vasonervorum. And again, it's, I tell patients, it's like taking a, a new tree that you planted and then hacking the roots up with a machete. Diabetes is simply a fast track to bad blood supply. And again, just beware, I'm giving you the oversimplification, but you know, this is with patients, we don't sit down with this chart and say, well, there's actually a lot of things that play in here. There's glycation of protein leading to oxygen, you know, no. But I, again, I just, I want you to be well aware that I am oversimplifying things. So if you are a uh, neuro geek, please don't let your head explode. Understand that I'm communicating with you on a level that uh, you can communicate to your patients and do so very effectively. This is an interesting table. This goes over some of the other mechanisms of impaired regeneration in diabetic nerves. Uh, microangiopathy, of course, is one of the major ones. But then you see here attenuated inflammation. And this is why when we talk about the nutrition side of things, and that's Dr. Brimhall's expertise, I'm a rookie when it comes to functional medicine compared to gurus like him and Dr. Merkel and some of the folks that he'll have on the stage. But I can tell you across the board, both personally and for your patients, if you get your patients to decrease the inflammation in their diet, they will do better. And their neuropathy symptoms will do better. So inflammation plays a big role. All right, so what do we do for these people? Because that's the question a lot of doctors have is, um, you know, in order to succeed with my neuropathy elite program, do they have to go out and buy tens of thousands of dollars of supplies and room full of, uh, rooms full of equipment and things like that? And, and here's the cool thing. I had, I had a group in Texas that uh, one of the partners called me and said, someone told me about this program, and, and I think it sounds too good to be true. They told me that it takes less than $3,000 worth of equipment to start into this niche. And I said, you're right. That's, that's absolutely correct. And so let me talk about with, uh, with you today the basic core protocols that we use. And then I'll also talk uh, just very briefly about some other things that you can do uh, and some new things that we're kind of testing and trying. So the first thing we do with our patients is infrared diode therapy. And infra infrared diode therapy is very, very well understood in the literature. Uh, it's interesting because the technology was originally developed by NASA for wound healing purposes. It then evolved into a treatment for diabetic wounds and then into a treatment for diabetic neuropathy. And so there are a lot of peer-reviewed PubMed Pub index papers that talk about NASA. And so, you know, it's not like uh, your state board's going to come after you because you're making stuff up about NASA. They really were involved in the development of, of this stuff. But what the infrared diode uh, treatments do, this is called monochromatic near-infrared light therapy. What it's doing is stimulating the inside of those blood vessels, the endoneurium, or excuse me, the endothelium, to, stim to produce nitric oxide. So we're getting vasodilation. We also see a massive increase in angiogenesis. So not only are we opening the existing vessels, we're creating new vessels. And so this is the first thing that we'll do. We use a device called the Health Light. Uh, you're looking right about $1,600 per pair to uh, purchase your first set of the health lights uh, that your patients can do. Second thing that we do is vibration therapy, and we'll do this in two different ways. The first way is done with them seated uh, on their feet and then on their calves. We find that the magic frequency range for vibration when it comes to circulation, literature shows about 30 to 50 hertz. This is the range that increases peripheral vasodilation. Standing whole body vibration is done not only for uh, circulation purposes, but for balance. This is why peripheral neuropathy is a deadly condition. Let me be very clear when I say that. This is a deadly condition. This is not hypothetical life and death, like, you know, uh, subluxations may lead to all kinds of visceral problems and down the road. This is very, very tangible and very, very real. These patients are scared out of their minds, and they should be, because their balance is terrible. And, and I'll tell you an interesting marketing anecdote. I was at a seminar once, and the speaker was talking about decompression and talking about how his marketing message for decompression was not chasing back pain, as he called it. It was avoid back surgery. Avoid back surgery. And I thought, that's brilliant. That's a much more powerful marketing message because, you know, psychologically, as Dr. Brimhall mentioned earlier, the fear of loss is a much more powerful motivator than the pleasure of gain. The fear of loss is a much more powerful motivator than the pleasure 
of gain. And so in many cases, you have to appeal to people's fear of loss. And so I thought about how do I take that concept and how do I apply that to neuropathy? And I thought, okay, we want to avoid falls, fractures, and the nursing home. Avoid falls, fractures, in the nursing home because that's what these people really, at the end of the day, that's what they're petrified of is they're afraid of falling and breaking their hip and uh, ending up in a nursing home. And you talk about patients balking at the cost of your care plans. You know, the average care plan for my neuropathy elite doctors across the country tends to be between about three and $5,000. Do any of you have aging relatives that you put into assisted living facilities? Do you have any clue how much those cost? I didn't until we had to put my grandfather in one several years ago before he passed away last year. We're talking three to five thousand dollars a month. It's it's insanely expensive, and those are and that's not three to five thousand a month to live out life, you know, in the four seasons. Uh, that's typically something that most people want to avoid at all costs. So balance, balance, balance. That's a huge thing, huge part of our treatment, and this is a huge part when it comes to uh, communicating with these patients on the severity and the significance of their decisions here. And then the last thing we'll typically do in office is uh, use the arthrostem to do some adjusting of the extremities. We'll kind of do a combination of an arthrostem adjustment with some gentle hands-on mobilization and stretching as well. We want to fire off those proprioceptive uh, large fiber A deltas. We want to inhibit nociception. Mechanically, we want to free up because these people's joints don't move very well. And I explained to patients, as we are regenerating new blood vessels and new nerves, your feet are going to get more pliable. That tissue is going to move better. And as it starts moving better, you start walking better. And as it starts walking, as you start walking better, your balance improves. And that's, that's what we're most concerned with. So a typical patient uh, in office treatment is going to last about 45 minutes or so with our core protocols. And we'll do three sessions weekly for a trial on average about five weeks. Four to six is the range, but the typical is about five. And what I find is about 80 to 85 percent of patients are showing significant improvement at that halfway point. And if that's the case, we then continue for the next, again, four to six weeks with an average of five. Now, if there are spinal complaints, so if you believe that stenosis is playing a role, if their person's also having you know, back pain, spine issues, et cetera, then of course we adjust them as well. Uh, some cases we may do decompression if I think there's a disc or significant stenotic component. And there's a lot of other things that you can do. I've got several lasers in my office. I have a PEMF machine in my office. We just purchased a device that Dr. Brimhall has mentioned quite a lot called the Beamer. And this is something that I told him today, I'm really excited. We're in the early phases of starting to implement this and test and see how this changes or speeds up results even further with our neuropathy patients. But I'm excited because the price point of this device, I'm the type of guy, kind of like the doctor that they mentioned in New Jersey, I don't usually buy one of, of anything. Um, I'll usually buy one and then a few months later buy a second, a third, etc. I think we're on our seventh set of the infrared lights uh, that we've got there in the office. So I'm excited because the price point of the Beamer allows us to integrate multiple devices without breaking the bank. And from a space standpoint, this isn't a device that has a huge footprint and, and takes up an entire room. So this is something that I am a rookie with. So if you have questions related to the Beamer, direct those to Dr. Brimhall, but it's a piece of equipment that, uh, that I purchased recently from my office and something that I'm in the process of integrating into our clinical algorithms. Now there is a home component to this treatment as well. Why is this important? Well, number one, this is important because this improves your results. Number two, this is important because psychologically the patient takes ownership in the process. They also take ownership in the failures if they're not holding up their end of the bargain. Number three, this is important because this takes one of the major objections off the table, especially when they find out you're a chiropractor because you know, when you're doing your marketing, you don't hide the fact you're a chiropractor. Most states require a disclosure of DC, chiropractor, chiropractic, etc. But it's not something that you're advertising, we're going to pop your back and fix neuropathy. You know, this is a lot of patients will come in and they're not initially, they, they don't find out until they get to the office that you're a chiropractor. And so they're automatically are some of those preconceived notions. And one of them, of course, is once you see a chiropractor, you have to come back the rest of your life. And I'm a huge advocate um, of maintenance care and wellness care. And so this is not any knock on that philosophy. But from a positioning and marketing standpoint, 
most patients don't want maintenance and wellness care. And so what I explain to our patients, and this is true for my office, is 98% of our neuropathy patients after they've completed their program don't have to come back for any ongoing neuropathy treatment. And this is because of our home care and because of the nutrition. We find that if you stick with the home care and you stick with the nutrition, you don't have to keep returning for ongoing treatment. Now the first thing we do, uh, the most important piece of the home care protocol is a device called the Rebuilder, and you see that little blue box there. And the Rebuilder is a specific type of electrical stimulation unit that uses these conductive garments. They look like socks from Walmart, but they're actually lined with silver threads and they conduct the signal from this device. This is such a cool machine. I use this for just about any complaints that our patients have. If I'm going to have a cash patient or one of my Medicare patients with a take-home device, this is what I use in almost all of them. So powerful. They will continue with this. Uh, we usually find they'll do it uh, anywhere from two to four times a week on an ongoing basis. I had a lady come in two weeks ago that was just turned 92. She had treated with us a couple years ago for uh, neuropathy, and she came in because her knee was bothering her. And I asked her, I said, well, how's your feet doing? Because she didn't mark the feet on her pain diagram. She said, Dr. Walker, my feet are doing great. I've been faithfully using that little gizmo. She was talking about the rebuilder, and she said, my feet are in great shape. So it's encouraging for patients to be able to do that. We also address with them the nutrition and, uh, and the diet side. Now, Dr. Brimhall and, uh, and the folks in his organization, as well as the, uh, the people at OHS, they're going to be able to go much, much deeper down this rabbit hole uh, than I am. But just on a basic level, the first thing we want to do with these patients is clean up their diet as much as possible. You're dealing with seniors, and, and change can be hard. But we want to help them understand anti-inflammatory foods, basically healthy proteins, fruits, and vegetables. These are the foods they need to be focusing on. We want them to significantly reduce or eliminate the pro-inflammatory foods, the grains, the dairy products, uh, the sugars, caffeine, things like that. From a supplement standpoint, uh, Dr. Brimhall has partnered with OHS and have put together a, uh, a really cool little uh, kind of neuropathy package, if you will. And these are the supplements. If you have questions on the dosing and the specifics, you can talk to him about that. But OptiNitric, Longevity, Fruit and Veggie Plus, and EFA. These are kind of your power four for neuropathy. And so what I recommend you do is, and this is what we do in my office, and we've been using OHS products for years. I mean, we're talking since... Uh, probably, what, 2008, uh, and Dr. Sanchetta, who is the medical physician in my office, is a huge proponent of OHS products. Uh, you know, he probably prescribes more um, of, the, uh, of the proteolytic enzymes than he does muscle relaxers, just because he believes so much in the safety and the efficacy of, of this stuff for, uh, for pain. And we see a lot of acute pain patients with car accident stuff as well. So anyway, this is a, uh, it's a great company phenomenal products. And so what I recommend you do is package together. If someone's on a three-month protocol with you, calculate what three months' worth of the supplements cost. Uh, someone just turned on. I think, Dr. Brimhall, your microphone turned on. I, I am on, yes. I was just going to say, okay. Okay. it's kind of interesting sure. that we're going to have three webinars in a row. You're on tonight, and he's going to be at homecoming in, in January, too. And this is really exciting because we have uh, Dr. Walker is going to be there in January, and hopefully we're going to get him there Thursday night. So if you want him to treat you, we're going to have to get him there early because we do a treating from six to seven or six to eight o'clock Thursday night. And so uh, Dr. Burke is going to be there. Hopefully Dr. Walker, myself, Dr. Brett, we'll get Dr. Jesse there. We'll get a whole group of us so we can treat as many as we can and make sure you understand how to use this. But we had Dr. Burke on a few weeks ago. We had uh, Dr. Jonathan on a couple of months ago because these are the guys who are going to be at homecoming We get to meet them in person, hopefully have their hands on you so you can see this. But we will have a classes that teach you how to use this nutrition. Now keep, he keeps referring to this microcirculation and I have to admit I have forgotten if we were ever told in school that 74% of the blood supply we have in our body is microcirculation. It's not the big veins and arteries. It's these little guys smaller than a hair on our head that we're trying to drive these red blood cells through. So the optic nitric, if you've heard anything about nitric acid, this is the best product in the world. It's just all whole food, non-GMO, pre-digested nutrients. The longevity 
has vitamin D in it, but it also has CoQ10. And right this week, brand new coming out, we have K2 in it. K2 has the ability to take the calcium out of the arteries and put it back in the bone and teeth where it belongs. The fruits and veggies have uh, nine structure function claims that the, the AMA allows us to state on that. And the optimal EFA is the essential fatty acids from the very plant source that the fish get it from. The other one is we have brand new from the last time Dr. Jonathan was on is our new methyl B. It's an organically methylated vitamin B. And the miracles we're seeing from this, I, 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 we don't even have time to go over that. But in, in two weeks from tonight, Dr. Uh, or Doug Grant will be on. I'll assist him if we have time to do that and talk to you about the science behind the OptiNitric, about the methylated B along Giva D. And uh, there's some new endocrine tests that we have going on. And we have a peripheral a vascular measurement tool that we're now using, very inexpensive. And you can actually prove they do have blood vessels that are not getting enough blood supply in it. And after you do the treatment, the beamer, the nutrition, all those increases microcirculation. And you can prove it right on right on the spot. It's We have some exciting things coming up. So be sure to put the last weekend of January. Don't miss that this year. Get to meet Dr. Jonathan and Dr. Burka. He's the medical administrator for the Beamer Company. He's a naturopath with just incredible. He's got the same kind of credentials Dr. Walker does in this area. All right, Doc, run with it. So in any case, on a practical level, uh, the easiest way to get your patients on the right products is to just include these in the package. Now, it's not that you give them away for free, but let's say you've got for three months $400 worth of supplements that, um, that you're going to be including. So instead of charging the patient $4,000, you charge them $4,400. And then there are ongoing revenue opportunities. After the patient's completed, uh, they may continue with some or all of the particular supplements that you have them on. So that's an easy way to dramatically improve compliance is selling these packages. So the patient doesn't have to go shopping and go nickel and dime. It's kind of like those of you that have traveled to the Caribbean and stayed at an all-inclusive resort. When you stayed at an all-inclusive resort, did you worry about what the drinks cost? Did you worry about how much snorkeling cost? Did you worry about you know, how much your appetizer was going to cost? No, because you paid one price, and then you got the money out of the way, and you could sit back and you could enjoy things. And you didn't have to worry about this, uh, well, you know, do I really need to do that or do I really need to spend that? You paid your money, you were done, money was out of the way, now you could have fun. And it's kind of the same thing when it comes to case fees. When you're dealing with these more complicated patients, now understand, I don't do case fees in my office for regular chiropractic patients, and uh, I'm not someone that arbitrarily does them just to do them. I do them when it's in the best interest of the patient. And with a neuropathy patient, if you don't do a case fee, that person's having to make a decision three times a week as to whether they want to continue when it's going to take several weeks in many cases to start showing tangible changes because of the difficulty and the chronicity of these conditions. So when it comes to your supplements, just calculate what they're going to need, calculate what you want to charge for it, and just roll it in. Don't say, well, we recommend these supplements and you can purchase them up front. It's just it's a part of the package, it's a part of the program, and uh, you can customize each individual patient's uh, supplement needs to their conditions. Okay, so let's talk about the fun stuff, or at least for me, what's the fun stuff, uh, which is marketing. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I, I can't help myself. I, I'm always kind of in marketing mode. I was on the phone today with a PI attorney friend of mine, and he was on, I was on his website. I just looked his website up to get his phone number to call him about a patient, and I got to talking with him about marketing. And I said, well, have you, you know, thought about this? Have you tried this? Have you done this? And uh, I just can't help myself. Marketing, it, it's just in my nature. Um, it's, it's part of what I like. It's part of what drives me. And from a mission statement standpoint, marketing allows us, it's not about some game or contest and how much money you can make and then you know, go, get out of Dodge. It's about how many people you can help and how many lives you can change. And I get some doctors that they, they say, almost with a tinge of pride, I don't do any marketing. I've never done marketing. Well, that's a shame because if you did good marketing, you'd have a lot more people you could help. You know, if I didn't do marketing, would I still see a bunch of new patients? I would. I'd probably see, you know, 40 to 60 new patients a month if I didn't do any marketing, just from referrals from attorneys and other doctors and existing patients. But because we do marketing, 
I can help a lot more people and I can change a lot more lives and I can earn uh, a very healthy income while we're doing it. So let's talk about what's working because too many people want to sit around and complain in the back of the seminar, in the back of the room about, well, this doesn't work and that didn't work and that used to work. Let's talk about what's working. You have to understand neuropathy patients are a hyper-responsive market. These people are tuned into your message. These people are looking for a solution when it comes to their neuropathy because they haven't been given one. So you're going to find this market responds much more effectively uh, than most conditions do, particularly in parts of the country that skew more senior and more geriatric. First pillar for us of marketing is the newspaper. There's three pillars. One is newspaper, the second is talk radio, and the third is seminars. So newspaper. People say newspaper's dead. Yeah, from people my age, the newspaper probably is dead. Um, you know, I like to read the newspaper when I'm on vacation. I like to do the crossword puzzle on vacation. That's about it. I don't read the paper at home. If I want my news, I go online to get the news. But for the folks in their 60s and 70s and 80s, they still read the paper. And who are you targeting? People in their 60s and 70s and 80s. So don't worry about how you feel. Don't worry about what you do. You're not the market. You don't get to vote. It's the patients that get to vote. At the end of the day, how you feel about, I had a doctor that was kind of hung up on, well, you know, some of these kind of ugly looking ads. I said, doc, you run what you want to run. But these ugly looking ads, in many cases, these are the ones that pull the best because they look like a newspaper article and the patients read them and uh, assume or just kind of assimilate them right into the rest of the paper. So let me show you some of our newspaper ads here and you'll see some of the different styles. Uh, this is our neuropathy seminar ad. I'll talk in a minute about the seminars that we do for patients in my community. This is another version, a black and white version of the seminar ad. This is a peripheral neuropathy warning ad. This is a more colorful version of the million dollar neuropathy ad that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So this is actually an eight and a half by 11 insert. This is the front of the insert. This is the back of the insert. So I can not only have the ad copy in the front, I can have these great testimonials in the back. Now, let me show you what I call the $87,000 conversation starter, because this is the ad that uh, the doctor in New Jersey ran. Uh, we gave his name away in the last webinar, and apparently he was a little concerned that uh, the Eastern Seaboard was going to be seeking him out for a loan once they found out how much money he'd been collecting. So I told him we'd, we'd keep things private. Um, but $87,000 conversation starter, because I got a call from this doctor in New Jersey that in a single month had added eighty-seven grand to his already six-figure-a-month practice, with the Neuropathy Elite program, and this was the ad that did it. This is, this is the quote-unquote ugly ad. This is the million-dollar ad, and this is the doctor I mentioned in Kentucky. He won't change this. He keeps running. He says, I'm going to run it until it quits working, and here he is you know, about, two, yeah, about a year and almost two years later, and it's still pulling for him, and there's some strategic reasons for that. The reasons it pulls is because it's written differently than a typical neuropathy ad. It's more like a report of findings in printed format. It talks about this concept of a neuropathy severity exam, and if you have reached too much nerve damage, for us, we find about 85% sensory loss, there's likely nothing we can do to help you, and that's powerful. People want to make sure they haven't missed the boat. A doctor in Charlotte, North Carolina, off one ad, this is one half-page ad, 42 new patients. Louisville, Kentucky, 70 new ones. Nashville, Tennessee, 52 new patients. Columbia, South Carolina, 35 new patients. Lexington, Kentucky, 40 new patients. Uh, this is kind of a cool quote. This is a doctor who I've gotten to be friends with uh, since she attended one of my seminars. She said, I went to Dr. Walker's seminar just to pick up some more treatment information and had no intention to, quote, buy another program or hire another consultant. After signing up with Dr. Walker's Neuropathy Elite program, I came back and had my best month ever in 15, uh, 14 years of practice and collected over 50000 I'd never been over 30000 before. I'm still shocked at how easy this plan is and people are starved for this type of care and are willing to pay for it. And they're all on a quote fixed income. One 90 year old lady brought in $4,200 in $100 bills. So never again will I doubt what people have and give them what I think they can afford. Trust me, people will pay for what they want. If you doubt that, please, please, please give yourself a headspace expansion exercise and go sit out in your parking lot, your parking lot, your office, and tell me how many $5,000 cars are in your parking lot. Not very many. Some of you say, well, I do nothing but PI, so there's a bunch. But for most of you, there's not a lot of $5,000 cars. There's a lot of ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 cars from people who say they can't pay three to $5,000 to 
to reverse a debilitating condition. Why? Because they value that car, they want to pay for that car, and the, the dealership's willing to finance them to pay for that car. So you've got to get this, this poverty mentality we have out of our heads. People will pay for what they want. Our job is to effectively communicate with them and motivate them to help them understand what's in their best interest. It's not a game. It's not about selling something, a plan they don't need, or bilking them for you know, their, their social security money. It's about saving lives. Now, we talked about one of the three seminars, or one of the three uh, pillars, if you will, of neuropathy marketing is the seminars. This is an actual live seminar. And you can see this is me standing up front here. In this particular event, we had about 90 people attend this seminar. I think we signed up uh, close to is between about 35 to 40 new patients at that seminar. And so neuropathy seminars are so effective for the senior demographic. They want more information. They want to be able to kind of kick the tires a little bit. They want to know you. They want to trust you. Because at the end of the day, they're buying you. You know, someone can ask you for, oh, I want to see the research articles. I, unless they're a, a PhD or doctoral level uh, thinker, they're not going to really understand what the research is saying and how to sift through, well, did they use good statistical analysis? Did they use the right P-scores? I mean, heck, I can't get through some of that stuff sometimes. And so what they're really at the end of the day saying when they ask those types of questions, I need to talk to my doctor, I need to re they're saying I don't trust you. I mean, plain and simple. And, and that happens to me, so don't take that as, as a personal dig because it, it is what it is. When a patient says, oh, I need to go talk to my doctor, when their doctor hasn't done a lick to help them with this particular condition for years, you know, sometimes I'll look at people and ask them, I'll say, you know, in the words of my favorite philosopher, Dr. Phil, how's that working out for you? We've got to do something different if we're going to expect different results. We've got modules in the Neuropathy Elite system on internal marketing. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit in many of your offices with your existing patient base. And then the third big pillar is radio. So newspaper, radio, and seminars. And I'm going to give you a hint today. Right-wing talk radio is where you need to be looking. I was at a seminar a couple weeks ago and uh, was talking about neuropathy marketing and I uh, have to give a great pat on the back here to one of my doctors up in Michigan because I was talking about this and I said, man, you, you, I, I told him at one of the breaks, I said, you've got to look into radio in your market. And he came to me about two hours later at one of the breaks from the seminar with a big smile on his face and he said, I've got an appointment with my uh, radio station ad rep this Monday to go over all that. And I looked at him, I said, massive action. That's where it's at, it's taking massive action. And that's where sometimes that ready, fire, aim has to come in. And the beautiful thing is that if you have a system, and he, I, he already had my Neuropathy Elite radio scripts, all he has to do is show up, negotiate his ads, and, um, you know, and record them. So ready, fire, aim works a whole lot better when someone else has already given you a system where 99% of the aiming has been done for you. Now, some of you have, have uh, heard from previous webinars, you've heard from Dr. Brimhall about my Neuropathy Elite system, and it, it is indeed a turnkey system. These are all based around video training modules that we have for you available on the internet, as well as recorded on uh, DVDs, CDs, and in printed manual form. So there's no travel, you don't have to come to my office, I don't have to come to your office. This is a turnkey neuropathy niche in a box, if you will. And the normal price of this program is a steal, it's a bargain, at $49.95 and you know it's like I tell patients sometimes with their treatment and uh, I got this line from Dr. Brimhall and I think it's great he's I, I'll tell patients this sometimes I'm embarrassed at how low our prices are I see people come out of the hospital for three days it's a fifteen thousand dollar bill and they didn't do anything for them sometimes I'm embarrassed doctors at uh, the price of my system because you know, there's coaches out there selling neuropathy programs with ongoing residual fees and upfront fees that are thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. And guess what? If you implement them, they're probably worth every nickel of it. But I designed this program to be as accessible to the average doctor as possible. I've got docs that are startup, I've got doctors that are veterans, but their practice needs a a shot of adrenaline in the arm. And so we designed this niche in the box to be accessible, which is why I priced it very strategically the way that I did. Now what I've agreed to do for Dr. Brimhall and for his group is a special discount. So there's a thousand dollar discount for those of you who purchase this program by the end of the week. Today is Tuesday night and those of you that purchase by end of business on Friday you are going to extend a special Brimhall discount. There's a thousand dollar discount and the reason I do a discount is not because this is a used car dealership, it's not because we're trying to twist your arm into making a decision, it's simply because 
I'm in full-time practice like you are. I'm seeing 120 to 150 new ones a month. I don't have time to be bugging you and calling your office and chasing you down, playing patty cake with your front desk about, you know, is Dr. Smith available to take my call? It's much easier for me to incentivize you with a whopper of a discount and make this a no-brainer. Because let's be honest, doctors, if you're not able to assess and evaluate, and you can call me and ask questions if you have questions before you need to pull the trigger, but if you can't assess and evaluate and make a quick decision on whether something's right for you or not, how do you expect your patients to do that? And I know a lot of doctors take pride in, well, I, you know, and, and they'll ponder and they'll think, and, and, and there's times to do that. But how can you ask your patients to make a decision? I would venture that for most of us, if, let's say a $4,000 decision like this is a much bigger deal for our patients, especially our retired patients on a fixed income, than it is for us. And so you have to be willing to do that yourself. Now, I have offered some flex pay options, just like I offer payment options with my patients to take the financial squeeze off of them. There are some flex pay options. There's a 6 pay of 732 and a 12 pay of 416. So there literally is no reason that anybody cannot afford to add this, particularly if you implement this and do like uh, Dr. Jesse in New Jersey did, and you're off to the races paying this thing off. If you take one of the extended pay options, we do offer also 90 days, same as cash. Now, for the first five orders, the first five doctors who call me, you're going to get an Amazon Kindle Fire loaded with the entire Neuropathy Elite system. So in addition to the $1,000 discount, you're also going to get the Amazon Kindle loaded with the system, which is just really cool, and there's a lot of other fun things you can do with this. We are also going to do an evening, because I like with Dr. Brimhall, he keeps me on my toes because he does these evening webinars. You know, it's almost 10 o'clock for me on the East Coast here. So those of you that call me in the next hour and a half, because I'm going to be awake and, and be up at it, I get a, an adrenaline rush going when I do an event like this. Um, so I'll be up for about an hour and a half. Those of you that call me tonight, you're going to get an additional $200 discount, and you're going to get two of my knee pain ads. A lot of you are using your laser and using the other tools from Dr. Brimhall to treat knee pain. I do that in my office as well. You call this evening, and that's this evening only. So if you're listening to the recording, you should have come on live. But if you're listening this evening you get an, and you call me tonight, in the next 90 minutes, you get an additional $200 discount and you get my knee pain ads. Now, with that said, I want to leave the remainder of our time here. We, I think I finished in good time for some Q&A. So if we've got some questions, these will be both Dr. Brimhall and I will be on the line here. Um, here's my direct phone number to call me. If you're ready to get started, go ahead and call now and get your foot in the door. Uh, you can leave a message. I will call you back this evening. But that's my direct cell phone number, 904-616-1284. So go ahead and, uh, and give me a call right now if you're ready to get started. If you have questions, you're never going to be able to get more information about if this system's for you than when I'm here to answer questions. With that said, let's open up the field here, and Dr. Brimhall and I will, will take some questions for you. What, what questions have come in? I'm sure there's some questions, Dr. John, that maybe you have um, or that others have asked. but. Nobody's typed any in tonight yet. That's unusual. Yeah. While, while that's happening, if any of you have any questions, now's the time to do it. Just type it right in there, and Clark will spit those out to us like he did last time. That worked out really well. We've, we've, we've got our, actually on my phone, we've got our, our first doctor that uh, has called to join. So someone's taken massive action, and hopefully more of you will follow suit with that. Um, one of the most common questions I get asked, just to give you guys some of my kind of frequently asked questions, uh, what's the cost of the equipment? And, and with the core equipment I mentioned, as I mentioned before, you're talking under $3,000 worth of equipment. Space-wise is another question I get asked. How much space do I need? If you've got a, let's call it a five by five foot space, enough place to put a chair and to put a standing vibration plate, you've got enough room. I talked to the doctor in Canada and he was real crunched for space and I said, doc, do you have a waiting room? And he said, well, sure I do. And I said, are you making any money in your waiting room? He said, I, I, I guess not. I said, okay, that's not your waiting room anymore. That's your neuropathy room. And so we can get really creative with solutions. So those are two of the big questions I get asked. Another question doctors ask me is, uh, how long does it take to assimilate and to learn this stuff? You know, as Dr. Brimhall mentioned, I've had doctors pick this stuff up as quickly as just a few days to go through and, and really pound and, 
and hammer. I'd say the average doctor, it takes about 10 to 14 days to go through the material and to be comfortable enough to get ready to run their first ad. I think you covered, there was a couple of questions that came in about what do we actually get with the program? Uh, what are we being taught on the videos? Perhaps you covered that. In. Yeah, just to give you a kind of a quick overview with the video training modules, the first one is kind of an overview of the neuropathy niche. The second module is the clinical side of neuropathy, and that's with uh, several hundred uh, abstracts that I present to you to support all of the research behind the treatment that we're doing. The third module is the phone handling and pre-appointment, what we call the WOW process. I'm getting a little echo out of someone's monitor. There we go. Um, the fourth module is the paperwork and the, uh, you know, having a, a dialed-in system for screening these people with just intake forms. So we have a whole module on the, and specific paperwork that you get. Module number five is learning our consult and neuropathy severity exam. And this is a detailed sensory exam. It takes about 10 minutes or so once you're really good at it. It's pretty quick. And this is where you give people their neuropathy score. Module 